to observation. Ram still hasn't moved. What is almost unbelievable is the fact that this child manages to stay in the same position during waking hours and sleeping hours. Try sitting for, for 30 minutes or an hour, three hours, not moving, just concentrating. And within 24 to 36 hours, where the skin surface reaches the contact point of where you're sitting, you will get damage to that skin area. And the formation of what we know in the Western world is called a pressure sore. It is the most challenging thing he's doing it. Incredible. A few hours later, he begins fidgeting and jerking. What you probably notice if you scrutinize your footage very carefully is that there are very small changes. What he's actually doing is shifting balance maybe from one buttock to another to relieve pressure points and allow blood flow back to that tissue. As the sun sets 60 hours into filming, and the committee take a tighter stranglehold. We find ourselves back with the family whose devotion for Ram remains undiminished. There are many that have altered their life to be in his presence. Some have never been home since arriving. Please stay here a couple of days and feel for yourself. It's wonderful. We have lived here eating only once a day for many months. I will stay here till my death. The relaxed environment suddenly changes when word goes through the camp there is a tiger loose in the site. Is it for real? Or are the committee creating more hype around the boy? The jackal was just over there. The tiger was a little further away. Chaos reigns as many fear for the safety of Ram. I understand the Nepali sense of the miracle of him not having taken food, not drinking. But for me, those are not the important issues. You know, whether he eats or drinks, I hope he stays healthy. After a thorough search, tiger prints are discovered. We realize how vulnerable the boy really is. We wonder if Ram is the innocent victim in this spectacle. After 58 hours, life continues as normal. Donation boxes are filled, and the crowds start to arrive. Ram appears to show no classic signs of degeneration through fluid loss, but a closer look at our footage might help us understand his physical and mental health. He looks unwell. If you saw this individual sat against a wall in London, you'd be very concerned about how he looks. As life passes him by, Ram just sits calmly meditating. There is a swelling in his neck, but whether that represents a goiter or an underactive thyroid is very difficult to say. Having a severely underactive thyroid would mean that your metabolic rate is incredibly low, which means that you can survive for a very long time without food and fluid. It almost looks like you can see the ribs showing through, and that would represent quite advanced starvation, and you started to waste away the muscles between the lungs, between the rib cages. Probably sat in that position, well away from individuals, is the safest thing for him in order to prevent an infection that could ultimately kill him. Is Ram now a victim of his own success, being slowly starved to death for profit? Only time will tell. This could turn out to be a very sad story. Where? We have been observing Ram Bonjan continuously in the jungles of Nepal for 86 hours. In that time, we've not seen him take any food or fluid or show any signs of dehydration. An average human should be just a few hours away from death. With a prolonged deficiency of food and water, you really, your brain is going to lack the glucose, you're not going to have enough fluid in your system. As you progress, without those fluids, you become delirious. On day four, that confusion will get worse. You may start fitting, your body is going into kidney failure, and ultimately the person dies of dehydration. To rule out foul play within the secure inner enclosure, we defy the committee and enlist Prem Lema, Ram's oldest friend and carer, to get a closer look. In the beginning, he used to walk around this tree in the morning, chanting mantras. After that, he meditated for three months before going into the deep trance that he's in today. After a thorough search inside the tree and the ground area surrounding Ram, there's nothing suspicious. No food pipes buried or supplies hidden. 
Are people there creating a scam for us to believe in? I hope not. It would be an elaborate scam to do that. Surely if it was a scam, someone within the committee would have let on, told the papers, weakened for money. The people in this area, they don't tell lies. They tell the truth that you have. That is also the proof. After 96 hours of filming, Ram has defied modern science by continuing his meditation and remaining alive. Many of the pilgrims at the site are from a scientific background and are torn by what they see. Is he a miracle or a myth? You began to write once, you began failure. Your modern medicine, more doctor, go calm. I say, began failure one name. I say, yes, my case and began. I listen to the tea. I wish car. We have whole religions built around miracles. Jesus rose from the grave. Millions of people believe that. That's the center and core of their religion. How do we say in another culture it's not possible? Everything is possible. Medical science. Medical science. Medical science. Prolonged fasting is not as simple as we understand. We all should explore the benefits of this kind of fasting. The debate over science and spirituality will always continue. And so too the tug of war between those who have Ram's best interests at heart and those who want to make a quick buck. It's very difficult when you have that belief that you have an individual that has transcended our normal biological needs of food and fluid. It's very hard to uh, reject that if you truly believe it. Maybe the brother knows the answer. He has the key to the inner sanctum. He is the only one allowed to speak to Ram. He will continue to empty the donation boxes, reaping the rewards while the truth remains unresolved. The media people should not create confusion. He will show the truth himself. Despite the isolation, he has created a commodity, a celebrity icon for the whole of Nepal. Surely everyone's a winner in this situation. After six years, he will bring the proof to the world. He will tell the truth by himself. I am this, I will do this, and I want to get this. I appeal to all the people in the world not to talk and say bad things about him. No one really knows what Ram is thinking, how he is surviving, or if he is Buddha. And so it turned out. March the 13th, 2006, events took a turn that no one could have anticipated. Ram disappeared. Some reports suggest he's gone deeper into the jungle to continue his meditation in peace, undisturbed. Other reports are more sinister, claiming that he's been kidnapped. Perhaps Ram has decided against being a scientific miracle or a religious icon. The once thriving bazaar and bus park is deserted, the fence is broken, and the only trace of Ram is a red robe lying discarded in the hollow of a tree. He has not been seen since. Next here on Discovery Channel, we're at the cutting edge of medicine, as doctors use a revolutionary body pouch to save a fireman with severe burns. Extreme Medical Stories is after the break.